Oh, hey there, YouTube. A little bit different of a video today. I'm over in paradise, or an old junkyard, one of the two. But first, check out the spoiler. This thing is awesome. Dude, look at this thing. This is straight out of Too Fast and Furious. It's amazing. I wish there was more of a body kit on it, but it's got a tutu, Ecotech. It says motor bad, no cat, no, no K frame. She junk. Still wicked though. A couple old Volvos here. Got a 99 uh, V70. I got an S60. And then an S40. Nice looking wheels on them. Well, some of the wheels are looking nice, but. This wagon's in pretty good shape. I wish it was an R line that had the nice calipers because I would totally jump on it. It's got a new thermostat in the back. Are about falling off of it anyway. It's got manuals, pack of smokes. But anyway, so I'm out here today, hopefully hunting for a few things for a few projects. Um, beard's a little messy, forgive me. I was working all this morning. Um, I'm looking for a fender for the 86 Tercel that I'm working on right now. There is uh, a little bit of Bondo action and some damage under the left front, and I'd like to really just replace it with another fender. Unfortunately, I don't have a great one. Look at the stripes on this thing. She got real racing stripes. She's a real racist. Wait, that's not how that works. Looks like I had a fancy front bumper. This looks pretty cool looking. There's so many awesome old cars here. Delicious Gatorade or P. Superbird. Let's see if we get the little trunk spoiler. Which I'm actually considering pulling that for a Volvo because I would look sick on one. Another thing I'm going to be hunting for is potentially a 4AC engine. Um, I am going to be rebuilding the engine that came out of the 83 to sell, which had really good compression on it in one of my previous videos when I cut it up. I think it had like 160 across the board, but if it needs rings and an overbore, I can't find overbore kits. I found one in Australia for like 150 bucks and I just don't want to spend that. So I'm going to see if I can't find another engine because I can find overhaul kits for those a lot cheaper and more readily available. Don't really want to do a swap on it, but I got to do what I got to do sometimes to keep motors going. So some Vieros up here. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's go uh, swim with some Volvos first. Look those over and then we'll see if we can't find any cool, uh, Old imports to check out. Here's something that's pretty rare. See that? Turbski. Old Plymouth. With a turbo motor in it. Well, what remains? Chrysler Turbo. I don't know where the turbo's at, but it's probably in there somewhere. Down there, maybe. Yeah, she's looking rough. It's like a Stealth or 3000 GT up there. Pretty cool. What I'm looking for is right there. Well, some of what I'm looking for. Crosslers. Ooh, a Saab. A couple of Saabs. Is it a Saab like 900s or something? Yeah, pretty cool. Eagle Medallion. Wagons. Pretty sick. I wonder if those came in four-wheel drive too or not. It's a Renault medallion. Eagle medallion? Renault medallion. I don't know. She's been off the road since 96 though. That's wild. It's a long time she's been sitting. Cool looking too. Oh, I love these lenses on these. It's very iconic. There's a couple more Saabs back over here. This is a Saab 900. A couple 900s. Off the road for a while. Old Michigan blue plates. 900, there's a turbo one right there. I don't know if you guys can see the turbo logo well. Here's some Volvos. Got a 240DL wagon up here. I think I took the taillight actually off that. 740GLE. Another 740 wagon over here. But what I'm looking for is that back there. So let's see if we can sneak over this. 
if I can sneak over this. Nice grill sitting right here with a good logo. And the seatbelt. And this poor girl has been annihilated. Sad. We've got a older 240 right here. She's an 85. Um, nope, this is the door pockets. Well, it wasn't. They're broken now. That's what I'm looking for is one of those. Oh, here's one. Also broken. Yeah, this is so brittle. I just have to buy these online somewhere. I think IPD makes repops of them, but they're just kind of pricey. I was hoping to find one salvageable from over here, but um, the seat's not in great shape. There's a lot of growth on it. I'm looking for stuff from 85. Mm. If you guys are hungry, there's a snack right here. Let me know. I'll send you some snack. Something's been living in there. It's a fan. This back seat's not great either. Yeah, stuff's been destroying it. But there's seatbelts back here I can salvage if I ever need those, I suppose. Uh, nothing that I'm looking for is here. That's unfortunate. Ooh, quad headlight buckets. I'm gonna have to remember that. There's probably somebody that's in need of something somewhere. Looks like this one's beat up pretty bad. But, salvageable. Man, so many beautiful Volvos here. It's kind of sad. There's more quad headlight buckets. This poor girl met some hard fate. Let's go check out the interior on it. Nothing in there. Well, it's a transmission. I don't think that's in the AW70 though. Yeah, it's got an exhaust manifold that's salvageable. Clock, no tech, rats. It's got a nice mirror. The seat's not the worst I've seen. Ooh, what do we got right here? Silent weapons for quiet wars. Not in there, I don't know what it is, but. Some ducting. Oh man, this thing suffered a fire. Holy crap. She burnt bad. Look at that, even the vents are melting. Yikes. What's that odometer read? 88,000. I mean, I believe it, this interior's in pretty good shape. I might take that driver's seat for my 85. Let's see how this back seat's looking. I wonder if I can get up here. Probably can, it's gonna be sketchy. Oh, oh, it's broken, dang it. That's a really huge bummer. Some people probably climbed up here and bloomed into pieces. Well, let's see if we can get up here. I'm gonna put you guys down. Well, I decided to stay out of it because I don't really feel like climbing up there and dying. But actually, that is a Volvo Trans. Got a Volvo dipstick. I was wrong. Got a 230 in here. Maybe 230F. It's got a, well, never mind. I'd say it has a nice washer fluid bottle, but it's not nice. It's got the uh, newer style power steering. I think it means it's an 86 or newer. But, I don't know. Well, didn't exactly find everything I'm looking for. Unfortunately, there was no door pockets and stuff like that, but I was just kind of looking for some little stuff. We're going to get inventory of some of the potential things I might be needing in the future. So, kind of a bummer, but... There is some trim. If I ever get another wagon again, that needs the trim. So, anyway, let's go find some imports. There should be one of these aisles over here, a bunch of terse aisles. We're gonna go find those. Actually, let's see what else we might find over here first. It looks like there's some cool stuff. A bunch of old Toyotas over here. Camrys. I don't know what motors he's having them though. Oh boy. No, nothing. Flintstones will be all. Hmm. 
hard body. Let's jump a mile over. Nothing again. Nothing again. This is locked. This little thing. What is this, an FX 16? Yeah, an FX. I guess if it's 16, it would use the 4 AGE. She's a beaut, though. Oh, a little Toyota decal. Wow. Boy, if this doesn't look Toyota, I don't know what does. Hey, the glove box latches are straight. Why couldn't they get that right in the AL25s? These seats don't look terrible. Very Toyota dome lens. Very Toyota rear mirror. That would look good in the Tercel because it's black. Okay. Mm, it doesn't look like it's going to do anything. Cup holders. Yeah, these are just like the Tercel things. Holy crap. These door panels are just a little bit longer. Oh, there we go. Well, here's an engine that I'm looking for. Here's a 4A. Looks like it's a wavy head too, which I think these supposedly have better compression. So I'm gonna ask what they want for this. I don't know if this thing's gonna be any good or not. Hopefully it's not junk. I'll have to pull the valve cover off and see how it looks inside. Make sure there's no water that's been getting in it for the last two decades. We're gonna ask about this for sure, for sure. Let's find out. This is gonna have to make a Weber motor on it. Look, this might be the one that I'm gonna ask about the motor on. We'll see what he's asking for it. These look really similar to the Tercels too. I think they're a little bit narrower though. That's cool. Anyway, let's keep carrying on. A Toyota Prius. We got over here some more Toyota Camrys. Let's got a couple RX-7s. There's a Dorito right there. Ooh. Doritos. Angry Doritos. Hmm. Here you go. A little Cressida. That is beauty. This thing is complete. Minus the wheels. This bumper looks beautiful. Very, very stylish car. I'll close the hood on it. Wonder what it's got in it. I'm not familiar with these at all. Oh boy, that's not going down. There's a tear sail. Well, they tried selling it. I don't know so much for. Lafayette and Greenville. 97. Ha! <laughs> the receipt's been in there for a minute. It's got the key in the ignition. Flower and garden issue of 98. A book. Man, this thing's gorgeous in here. It's really sad about the transmission choice in it, but she is a beauty. Look at these seats. Nice headliner. Looks just like a Tercel's rearview mirror too. It's crazy how much Toyota interjected or interchanged parts. Well, I'm getting sidetracked already. Colt Vista wagon. Imported for Dodge. That's cool. Oh, Lindgren. Report for Steva. Like there's some old wheels back here, some like weird honeycomb wheels. I don't want to wander through this too much, but those are cool looking. A little trans right here, a couple of bench vices. A little Mazda, I think it's a 626, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, you guys let me know in the words about what you know about any of these. Some rad stuff over here. There was some Tercel wagon somewhere. Just gotta remember where the heck they were. Oh! Get 
to scratch the vines. Hmm. I remember. over this way more. <laughs> yeah, there's a Toyota van. Here's the Tercel hatch. Yep, found him. Sweet. Oh, got you on this Legacy's ass. Look at that, another Supra. <sighs> Am I gonna die going underneath you like this? Probably. <laughs> Ow. <sighs> okay. I need a left front fender. Whew. This poor girl. She has been annihilated. That vendor's junk. Let me go around the other side. I have the bumper off this car. Ah, that vendor's not terrible. I might take that. We'll see. might be useful. There's a random door right here. Subaru Obo Drive Turbo. A couple doors off something. Well, I think I'm gonna be after this fender. We'll see what he wants for. I'm gonna go ask him. Got a couple things I'm on the hunt for. I might pull those mirrors too. Ooh, Salika. Ooh, is this a, what is this? I forget what these are. Pop of headlights, weird two doors. Ah, uh, man, I recognize this, but I don't know what the heck it is. Oh, oh. it's a Space Needle. This is a Subaru, Subaru Space Needle. My friend had one of these in high school, a red one, we called it the Space Needle. Um, man, I don't remember what they're called. These things are really cool. Huh, look at that little guy. Hmm, more pop-up headlights. Ooh. Look at this old Honda. Look at her. She's a beaut. Oh, it opens. V-dubs. Another Renault. Two two power. More Renaults. Um, Concord. Ugh, we're docking. Got all this old Detroit iron. Off the road since 79. Nature's slowly taking him back. guys.
estate. What a beaut. God, I love to have one of these. This roof rack. No, that's us. Long bench seat. That's so cool. Small birds. Whoa. Delphins. Any car with Delphins gets a vote in my book for being one of the best. This is no exception. Could you imagine driving this down the road? Brand new. Oh. Look at these taillights. Well, what they were looking like. Look at these drums. They're huge. Oh. So cool. All right, well, I just left the junkyard. Uh, he told me a fender would probably be like 25 to 30 bucks. Um, so that's pretty good. I may go ahead and snag that up if I can't find anything else that's halfway decent. Um, I went and looked at some parts for some other people. I got somebody that's over in the UK that's looking for some US spec seats for a Tercel, and unfortunately those weren't very good. It was kind of a bummer. But uh, the engine, they want $300 or potentially more depending on where it's located. The boss man was gone today so they couldn't give me an exact quote. That's really more than I'm looking to spend, unfortunately. I mean, long and short of it, it would still be cheaper than pulling an engine apart, realizing it's junk and needs an overboard, spending a crap ton of money on pistons, and then having to pay another hundred some dollars for four holes to get drilled out. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens as I get closer. Maybe I'll just get lucky and the motor won't need anything. It's kind of going to be what I'm hoping, but anyway, that's a little bit different bit of a video. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. That's really all I got for today. Uh, I'm going to probably go ahead and monkey with some Volvo stuff when I get home. Maybe put a video out next weekend of that, depending on how everything goes and what I get done. And then I uh, will catch you guys later. So, adios.